So, with um, the somewhat mysterious disappearance of Edward Harrington, a.k.a. Jack. What are you so, I think we were going to sell some crayons. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Let me move you up to the rise. What was, it? What, what was the explanation that Aussie gave? Yes, Aussie, what is your explanation? <laughs> um, it w I was casting an illusion the whole time. Uh, you don't need to worry about it. An illusion for... Of the man. Fellow? Yes. I'm that powerful. Okay. Well, I don't remember him, so... Right. Well, have you ever heard... Yes, well, right. Quite. Anywho, to the crayon shop. I mean, the Cheshire Cat. This way! <laughs> Alright. So I lead them to the Cheshire Cat. So, he leads you to a building that... It's a rather large building that seems to be almost segmented off into two parts. Uh, there was one door that above it says the Cheshire Cat, and the other one says the Hatted Cat. You walk into and the Cheshire... Oh. Yes, we walk into the Cheshire okay. Cat. And this is where I bought all my things. Mm. You look around, so... you see a few different uh, pieces of wood laid about on a table, racks upon racks of clothes, a um, few various different trinkets just lying upon shelves. Okay, so, I mean, I guess I'm here for this, so... Um... You have to go ring the bell! Bell? I point oh, to the sorry, bell. I see a bell. bell. Okay, so I walk over to the desk, and I like slam my hand on the bell enough so that it rings like really briefly and then like stops alright uh everyone give me a perception check uh, perception eh yep not performance nope Oops. why would it be performance uh, cause it's right below perception and I always press perform hey hey so, hey. Raikou and Alton... I hate Comcast so much! <laughs> Connor, no, Connor, you actually died. Like, in real life, you actually what? died. Oh, so come on! I, I missed that moment! It's just... Yeah, you, it's just... Sitting there, says insert thing, and then just... Gone. <laughs> Come what? Later, I hate Comcast. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Whoa. Please tell me. Can you please give me a recap of what happened? Uh, we skipped from you down. over to the Cheshire Cat, and that's it. Yeah. That's what that's what happened. In your case, we don't know, <laughs> because we don't know where it cut off for you. Where did it cut off for you? We are back for this, then. No, uh, we're still gonna go with the normal group for a second, but real quick, uh, Edward, where did it cut off for you? Oh god, it, I think it happened again. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> god, Comcast. Anywho, the bell rings, and... The bell rings, a I puff get a of 20 on perception. Puff of smoke appears. Um... There was an ominous noise. Some lights that were on the ceiling that you didn't notice before. Focus in on it. And it's Alton and... Alton and Riker, you very obviously see a guy sneaking behind the counter and popping up through the smoke with, an os with a very fabulous flare. Hello and welcome to the Cheshire Cats. You know, I'm really surprised that you don't, like, have a better plan for that. God, I hate it. Comcast. I cut off again, but I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Riker, Riker just like the whole time is like straight face oh. looking at him, and he says, "Quite," and then like just like you know continues into whatever we're going to, just waits, I guess. Isn't it great? I just start clapping excitedly and jumping up and down. 
Ooh, yeah, so, we didn't see that. Uh... Riker pulls out the, the crayons or whatever the hell we're calling them um, from his backpack and puts them on the table sealed and says, I'd like to sell these. Hmm. Let's have a look at this. He takes out several different instruments and begins rather Does close. He, like open the yeah, it's like sealed. Like, so he there's... doesn't seal like it's just the seal itself is just a piece of paper that's wrapped around each one. Well, oh, actually, okay. no, you bundled them up, didn't you? So it's just the bundle with the seal around it. Oh, I thought that's what I thought that's what it was. I thought the seal was like completely like surrounding them. But okay. Okay. Yeah, so oh. I just like give them to him. And how many of them are there? I have four. Hmm. Very interesting. Where did you get these? Well, in... And, like, Riker, like, stops himself. And he goes... On our travels. In a chest in a dungeon of sorts. And, like, looks straight at him, like, not even, like, laughing a little bit. Interesting. They seem to be tools from the Artist of Creation. Hmm. What do you mean by that? Oh, the... Oh? oh no, they're going by parade of colors nowadays, aren't they? Well, um... at any rate, um... These are... Pretty good things that I've only seen in Hulanuka, which... Interesting. Hmm. I'll give you 300 what? for the lot. A lot. What? What? I'll give you three hundred uh, for all of them. How many is all of them? Uh, Four. Um. So I, I look at him, and I say, I think. Well, you know, my friend here, and I point. I point over to Aussie. Hello. He's been here before, and um. Just a few minutes. To my ago, knowledge, really. yeah. To my knowledge, you gave him a really bad deal. What? So I was hoping that you could help me on my deal. And I'm obviously trying to bargain, so whatever you want me to roll for that. Uh, give me a persuasion check, and... And we'll see how badly I fail. Yeah. The fuck does that smell? Fifteen, yeah. Three or five. What? Three or five is how much you could get it up to. Three hundred and five gold? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I passed! What the hell? Um, yeah, I, I take that then. Yeah, I, I'm, like, okay. I, I'm kidding, it's actually going to oh. end up being a little bit better than that. Let me... I was gonna say! Like, that means gold is... Okay. Hold on. You know, and Wait. sir, you said that these were very wondrous, and they haven't been found really, you know... Oh, so. they were... Only really the Parade of Colors makes these. So... Whoa, whoa, hold on. What? We found these in... Okay. C continue. In a, a dungeon, dungeon of sorts, yes. yes. Just keep, keep going, don't, don't mind me. Just keep you going. have a point, so... How about 340? For each of them? Wow, what a deal. For all of yes. them. I know, I'm, I'm making a joke. I think... That's very hilarious. Thank you. I do my best. Not really. And I say, I think we might have a deal if we can go to 350 gold. And by the way, um, Raikou, at this point as you're talking to this man, and you realize there's, he's wearing this nice long robe, his face looks a little odd for his size though, with the shifting of his arms and how his weight's distributed it, you realize it's two gnomes in a robe. <laughs> so, okay, so I notice that he's two gnomes, and I say, for someone of your stature, I'm sure 350 gold would be sufficient. Oh my god, don't talk about that. That's a sensitive topic. Uh, you people just Bargain come in for shakedowns all the time, don't you? Alright, so... 
Please. What do you mean? I gave you a good deal. Yeah. Yes. To my knowledge, we have. I been gave you hurt. a flying carpet, my dude. In any better town, and I like look around, these would be worth <laughs> twice that. But I will take three hundred and fifty. And I this put out my hand. This mine, is it? No, it's just mine. And I put out my hand to shake on the deal. He puts his hand out. Shakes. All right, three hundred fifty gold. Right. And I pass. I so, pass over the pigments. The gnome moves his uh, hand around, which you realize now is a animated hand on a stick. Really? And yeah. His, like, where his actual hand is, is where his, the elbow of the person would actually be because of the robe. <laughs> so, okay. he moves the hand up, puts one in against his nostril, and he blows really hard out the other one, 350 gold, right um, on onto the counter. I, I, look at, I look at him in the face, and I say, do you sneeze gold, sir? No, it's a... Slide of hand trick. Have you never seen, like, fake magic tricks before? I have not. He puts the I fake hand out. The, uh, you see a few gold in there. Yeah, it was just right here. I do have a question for you, though. Yes? What? It, why the charade? Oh, um... Charade? Is it just for fun? No, gnomes can't Which own shops doctor? in the city. Oh. Really? Why is that a thing? Well, it's only humans. I'm sure you've noticed that this place is more abundant in humans than almost anything else. Is I it don't. because... Oh, I have a joke for you. I don't look at race. I don't really partake. In race? And I just grab the gold and then I like, put it in my purse and start like getting ready to go. I mean, it does make sense. If a halfling owned a shop by himself, everything would have to be half price. <laughs> I mean, okay, me as a terrible. person is laughing about that, but like, yeah, right, good I'm gonna walk up to the counter. I'm gonna look at the gnome that was on the top of the other one, the one that was doing most of the talking. You should you see his said... brother. Ozzy, shut up. What? You said, you said Hula Nuka. Yes. The crayons the that we just sold you came from the Parade of Colors. Yes. Those are the no. only people I've known to... that I know of that makes this. Okay. I'm hoping with a little bit of time and some effort I can replicate this, but... <laughs> These are rather fun to mess with, especially in a desert. Do you possibly know where any of them might be? What is it to you when I look at you directly? I'm gonna look over to Riker. I'm just gonna be. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of, as I'm not wearing my mask, I just kind of have a smile. I've probably I'll not actually you. seen you without your mask, but okay. I'll tell you later. Alright. So I actually step outside. I like walk away. Now back to you wonderful creatures. Oh god. Are any of them in the city at this moment in time? Do you know? Not that... One second. The top one's head kind of like pops down a little bit and you hear a little bit of murmuring inside. Of the robe. The head pops back out. Yeah, not that we know of. I believe they're all just in Hulanuka. It sounds like a fun place. Parades, hula. It's not. Nukas? I Nuka was actually what? there back in my youth. Uh... Which one of your youths? <laughs> Me, up That's here, top funny. one. Hello. Hello. Oh, so what you're saying is you're the top? Yes. <laughs> so I can remember, while you were joking, Edward, different dimension, possibly. 
Oh, yeah. Yes. You don't know who Edward is. Yeah. Yeah, we don't know who Edward is, so I don't know what you're talking about. (laughs) (laughs) Which we're going to talk about that here in a second. (laughs) Yes, blame Klaus. Don't blame me. I'm just going to put my mask back on and just walk out of the building. That's it. Oh, shit. Ah! Oh, no. So, um, when he walks out, I look at him and say, you know, we could probably make a pretty penny with this new information. Don't be mean to him. Well, here's the thing. They have... Well, as much as I'd love to expose those two little gnomes for what they are... There's four of them. Four of them? There are four. Oh, boy. (laughs) <laughs> well, as much as I'd love to expose those gnomes for what they are, at this moment in time, they're the only link I have back to Hulanuka. So at this moment in time, I prefer them to stay Klaus. here. What yes. is Hulanuka? Can I make a performance check to do the hula? Yes. Yeah, but none of us can see it, so it's like a tree falling in the wild. No, I'm in front of you. You can't see it. Uh, so, who was asking you about Hulanuka? I think that would be Riker. Right? Uh, Riker, give me a history check. I was. Okay. Uh, history is... 15. Alright, you know that Hulanuka is the closest continent to the land of Grufeo, but other than that, you don't know too much about it. The land of what? Uh, the Hula continent Nuka. that we're on? Yeah. Gryffindor. Okay. So they call it the continent that we're on. It's the closest continent otherwise. Yeah. Okay. Uh, travel between continents is extremely uncommon as sea travel. There were some monsters yeah. in that shit. A lot yeah. of people don't make that trip. So I look at I look at Cross and I say, um, how do you know of this place? I'm from there. Really? Is that why uh, you wear that and I point at your mask? It's one of the few things that I have left of my tribe. It's best to leave it alone. I'll leave it alone, but... uh, All you people are from tribes. I'll I'll leave it alone, but I think that... um, I was very concerned about why you had that mask. Either way. I'm I'm not a serial killer, if that's what you're worried about. Oh, good. I'm not worried about serial grains or murderers. At this moment. <laughs> that was horrible. Yeah, and I think I do. That's it. That's it. So, do we want to go back to Edward? Or Connor? Right. Or whatever? Yeah. So, <laughs> Edward, what was the last thing you heard? The last thing I heard was her saying hello. Okay. Um. And then you said, uh, what do you want? I believe it was. Yeah. I want... I suppose... oh. oh, sorry, go ahead. I want... What you want. I not want to know where you're going and what exactly you're doing. i am got a vested interest in the current ongoings of the world and... I've seen you pop up once or twice, so I would like to get things a little bit more accurate. I can tell you what lies ahead with your assistance. I suppose I don't have much of a choice in the matter. You have a choice. You can leave if you want. I can send you right back from where I plucked you from. Okay, and I don't want to sound rude, but was the multi-day travel necessary? I'm very far away from where you were. Of course. Right. You did not require food or water during the trip. I didn't. Okay. Enough pleasantries. From what I remember, I remember a place called the Plain of Fear. We went there... There were Drider and something called the Chain One. 
There were also flaming dryads. But Ooh, I know this. Emphasis. But I need something else from you. What else? She puts a hand out on the table. I need your assistance. You must forgive me, but I'm generally hesitant on making deals with people I've never met before and who can just randomly teleport me. What is this assistance, exactly? I just need to get a read on your aura. Just a little hint of it to better tell what lies ahead. I know nothing's for free. If you were to help me, what do you gain from this? I would gain the knowledge that lies beyond. I... I deal with information. Your aid... I want to know what I am going to tell you. So, it is mutually beneficial for the both of us. So, like, guy, uh, you seek information I wish to give. So, I help you, we both gain info, right? Correct. Can I sense, like, any sort of, like, I'm trying to think of the word, bad intent coming from her? Uh, give me a... Actually, first, just give me an Arcana check. And this might give you advantage on the check. Shit, hold on, my browser's being stupid. Alright. Okay, let me roll again. 25. Alright, um, and then give me an insight check with advantage. Alright, just a sec. Fucking Firefox. Not 20. Alright, so... She's talking about getting almost an imprint of you or This gives creatures a certain power over you when it comes to those spells. It makes those spells affect you with much, much more ease. Once this input has been made, it is very difficult to get rid of it. An imprint is almost always made on an item, and those items are, well, magical, and as any magic item, they are very hard to get rid of. Anything short of throwing them into a volcano has not worked out well for people that's tried to. Alright, in that case, knowing this, after a moment I'm going to stand up and say, Thank you for the offer, but I think I'll find out the future for myself. There's a slight nod. And as you stand, you feel the wind begin to pick up, that white sand that you left at the entrance begins to swell up and around you. Your vision goes completely white, and then as the sand begins to rise up above you, you begin feeling yourself slowly float up. You see the swells beneath you, um, outstretched as you slowly being carried up by the vortex. The sand, as it reaches the climax, it begins to just kind of shallow out over the rise. And you land. Okay, do I see the group anywhere? Uh, yeah, they're only like a hundred feet away from where that's at. So you see them outside talking. And then right, there's gonna... a sudden, like, almost pause in the conversation as Raikou, um, well, all the ones that forgot about Edward, you all suddenly remember, oh, hey, yeah, he just disappeared in front of us. How did we forget about that? 
demon. You know, you know, Connor. The problem here is you didn't make a deal with the devil, and I'm really ashamed of you now. But it's okay. Um, <laughs> okay, I'm in character. I'm gonna say, all right, guys. Uh, I need you because I learned some powerful stuff. So in order to do this, I need you to line up shoulder from shoulder, bending a bit, so you're all let, so your faces, heads are all at the same level. Okay. Why? What? Do this. All right. Um, why? So I go with whatever he's saying. This is important, all right? Why? You just stand right by out. And... Do you want to know the information I learned or not? Not really. Okay, so who I does do. it? Uh, I, I do it. I do it. Sure, I'll do it too. I just hope I don't <laughs> I'll do it to it. Okay, so Ozzy's the only one who didn't do it. I'm not doing anything until I'm told what's happening. Look, I was transported to some to some tent where an old lady said that she would tell me the future. Okay. Alright, and in order to pass on the information, there has to be a certain dance made. Otherwise, well, a death. remember how you suddenly forgot about me? You'll kind of forget about yourself. You don't want that. No, I didn't forget about you. Right, Why are we going please to get information. Plane? Well, I forgot about I am so not doing that. So I'll do it. Riker, Riker's okay, there. Thank you. Did he cut so out again? Happens? Oh god. Edward! <laughs> no, Edward! <laughs> At least it's not as bad as Time Warner, but jeez. And then I'm gonna attack us. So funny. Hold up, you completely cut out there. You said, and now I'm going to, and then you just. nothing. Yeah, in that case, I'm going to, and then that was it. Attack Aussie. Yeah, so, yeah, in that case, and then I'm gonna attack Aussie. Why? You're gonna attack well, Ozzy? I don't know, I'm just so angry right now, because I just spent like days walking, got to some stupid tent, just got told, was like, hey, you wanna sell your soul? Hey, they wanna like, do some weird stiff that'll make you indebted to me? I said no, and they got thrown over here, and I am very angry. Well, I, I'm, so again, you're making, so it. as a result, you're making everyone go in a line? Right, so I can hit them all at once. It, eh, no, that wouldn't be in character, never mind, but I definitely would do that to just screw with them, but I won't hit them. I will say. Yeah, I turned her down, by the way. So, yeah, she didn't tell me anything. And right so now, I we... want a bed, and I want something to not walking. I've been walking the desert for days, man. So, I walk I walk over to him. I walk over to him, I'm like, Edward. Or, there I go, Jack, or whatever the fuck we're calling you. Jack. Um, Jack, Jack, it's okay. Hey, look, I got a room. Follow me, and we'll be okay. Come here. And I just, like, like slowly coax you. Yeah, I follow, but like, I'm just clearly very angry. Yeah, and I'm just being a friend and like pulling him towards wherever the hell my my hotel suite that I bought or whatever the hell it is. is At that... the honeysuckle. <clears throat> yeah, because I haven't slept in it yet, and I no. think you said it has like a few rooms or something. I don't know. I don't remember. Uh, it's a very large, very nice room. There's only one bed though. Oh well, then I'm just gonna get a cot. That'll be fine. It's great. Right, so, TV. Um, so, so are we like skipping time or doing anything or what are we doing? So, is there anything else anybody else was uh, doing? You guys are heading off to. <clears throat> well, those two were heading off to the honeysuckle to, I guess, yeah. sleep for the night because it is getting. Well, I, it's I about. Right um, the sun has been setting. It's about seven or eight p.m. at this point. Uh, Riker is going to try to get a woman for the night. A cup of sugar? Yes, a cup of sugar. He is going to bet and try to get a cup of sugar. Charisma roll or something? I don't know. I don't care. Uh, persuasion. <laughs> persuasion. Oh, that's funny. Dirty, don't I? There we go. Ooh, terrible. Uh, nope, so... You go around the rise for a little bit, but most of the women in this area just kind of turn their noses up to you. You go it's down to um, the swells, and... I don't want to go to the swells. I don't want to go to the swells. <laughs> okay. Then you don't end night. up with a woman. No. <laughs> good. It's good. So, okay, yeah. Listen, I understand that some of you don't have money, 
right now to pay for a room, especially up here. Um, so how about one of you takes my room that I paid for already, and I'll go see about if I can stay with Guildford. Hey, I still needed to sell, by the way. Stay uh, with Guildford. You still need yeah, to sell? Yeah, I got dibs on the room. Yeah. No, 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 Edward, you're you're in my room. It's okay. I'd rather. Good. I don't. I just want no, to have like... my own room, please. Really? Okay. Well, then, yeah. Riker, I, I Riker just want to. I want a bath and I want to then. sleep on a on my own bed. I've been walking the desert for I don't know how long. Oh yeah, uh, Riker then gives you his room. If if you don't want like him to like sleep on his bedroll on the floor, then that's fine. He he gives you his room. Like he's just like here you go. All right, thanks. Um, <laughs> and he's got like a bath and everything, so you're good. In that case, I'm taking a bath and then I'm going the hell to sleep. Okay. Yeah, then Cloth, um, I I find a cheaper in down under the strolls or whatever the hell you call it. Uh, on the swells, you, um, swells. yep, you manage to find a room at Lady Luck, which is a bit of a casino place. It's only uh, three silver a night. Three silver a night. Okay. And I'll see you're going off to Guildforth's. We'll cover that in a second. Alton, uh, what are you doing? Guildforth. I wanted to sell. I'm going Guildforth. When we were at the, the, the gnomes, I still wanted to sell. Okay, um, so what would you like to sell? I want to know, and I wanted Arthur to be here so I don't get fucking screwed, or at least, uh... Sure. Well, I mean, you had a minute that, right that could have happened, so... Yeah. Oh, I wanna, one of you two, one of either you or Edward was one that also sold stuff and got good money. Yeah, I sold stuff, Ozzy sold stuff, that was it. So, I mean, Riker was trying to go to the room heading with Edward, so you'd probably be with Ozzy. Alright, I just want to sell, I want to see how much the silver, the silver I have costs, as well as the tuning fork. And the, uh... You're going to sell the tuning fork? No, I I'm was... serious. Oh. Don't don't offer the tuning fork. I made well, it myself. Say, I just wanna you know. I'm, I'm just, hey, I wanna yeah. see how much it is. Actually, it's, that would be useful because it's a tuning fork from the plane of fear. Like that's that's gotta be pricey. So, do you I try to use it. do you reveal the fact that it's from the plane of fear? No. All right. I was gonna tell. First, I wanna like figure out how much the silver itself. Like, that how I much have. was? How much did you have left? Uh, let's see, I have three. All right, so you could get um, I, I'm not really too much of an expert in just raw materials. You might want to go to the hot iron or back down to the scrapyard in the swells if you'd like to sell that. All right, and then I'll put that away and show him the uh, fork. Tell him not that it's from the place. Oh, yeah. granted, he, this would, is... he would probably know if he scanned it, just so you know. Um, or whatever. He... you hand it to him? No. You show, show it to it him. him. <laughs> oh, that, that looks nice. I... Can I see it if you'd like to find a price? I would have to actually... Seth is nearby, right? Yeah. Okay. But I'm watching him. I'll hand it over. Alright. He begins looking at it. Huh. Slightly vibrating. Yeah. Interesting. I mean, you know what it is, right? Like, obviously, you can tell him that it's a tuning fork. Yeah. Um. He takes it, and he begins to go to hit it on the... Wait, nope. I what? don't want him to hit it. I don't know what that'll do. Tuning folks, when you hit it against something, it vibrates for a while at a frequency. Yeah, but this is a magic one. What will that do? Well, that's what Probably. it is. Well, the theory would be reattune it to this plane. Yeah, so don't bad. hit that on thing, <clears throat> please. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. You were in another plane of existence, weren't you? Yes, I was. Hmm. You were? Gasp! 
Uh, and what particular plane is this attuned to? Uh, I just want to know how much the tuning fork, without being attuned, is worth right now. <clears throat> the it tuning attuned, fork though. itself, possibly 25 gold. It's very nicely made. Extremely nicely made, actually. Yeah. How much do uh, you know about the planes of existence? Not too terribly much. I think one of my friends have traveled a little bit, but even among mages, knowledge of the planes is scarce and far between. Oh. Well, I'm no mage, I'm a scholar. Well. Uh, would it make any difference to the price if it was from a from a difficult to get to plane. I mean, don't you think so? Of yeah, course so. it would. I would be able to sell that to, well, pretty much any powerful mage that wanted to get somewhere. Um, this isn't something that I would personally use. I don't have any intention of leaving this rather cozy city. Uh -huh. I don't know who wouldn't want to go to heaven, but you know. So, oh no, I just gave away the secret! <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. There's no such thing as heaven. It's Elysium. If I, if it was, where was it from? The uh, plane of pain? Something? Frightened. Uh, yes, if it was from there, uh, how much would it sell for? I have to roll a check for him real quick to see if he even knows what that is. Son of a bitch. The Plane of Friends. Uh, if I recall, I don't think that it's been mentioned as a pleasant place. With no. not too many resources. That's where I got the flying carpet I gave you. What? What? Sorry. I forgot you were here. Oh. Well, that changes things a little bit. Possibly about... I'd say maybe 500 gold. Ah. Well, then. Uh, I think I'll keep it for now, then. I mean, of course. And I'll take it back. And uh, I also have one more thing, and uh, I reach into my bag and take out my hand puppet, and I want to know how much that's worth. Hand puppet? Yeah. Is uh, it up to him. About five silver? Five yeah. silver? I don't know how much puppet's worth. Oh. Do it. Does. Take the puppet, and I want the five silver. Oh. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You have all the silver, right? You have all the silver on you, right? I'm, I'm... Uh, I guess so. Okay, as a, as a, as a player, um, he just said that a tuning fork was worth 50 gold, and you yeah. made it with that silver. So you should probably 25. try to do that more. I have a better idea, but... <clears throat> Whatever, I mean, yeah, we made it. You're, you're getting close to where I'm going with this. Okay, good. I'm just, I'm just, you know, because if you were running out of gold, that's what, you know, but okay. Yeah. I just don't want that. Like, why do I need this hand puppet? What am I, what is, I don't need well, a hand puppet. The, Why do you want to sell a sock puppet? I'm so, why is this worth our time? I mean, I'm just here. I might as well sell the puppet. You just sell the puppet. Then sell yeah. the puppet and be done with it. I don't want to spend more time here. That, that's what I'm trying to do. I just don't know what stopped me. What stopped me? The fact that I don't buy puppets. Oh. It's not a puppet store! Uh, it looks like little puppet people. Alright. Fine. Uh... Okay, back to see you later. Okay, Bye. bye. Um... Sorry, you four. Sell anything. See you later. Okay, oh, the two are in the break room team. at the moment. The break room? Yeah. Do a, why do you have a break room? <laughs> I deal in magical artifacts, do you think I would not have a rather nice break room? 
Listen, that's true. I Do you have tea there? You know what? This is not important. Goodbye. I have magical tea, yes. I oh. may be back for that. This is going to die. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so assuming that um, Fine, Holden, Alton, was there anything else you guys wanted to do before you go to bed? Uh, no. Try to make another tuning for. Just gonna put my, I'm just gonna put my mask on my chest and just pass out. Alton, I'm gonna say that you don't have enough time left today for another check on for a check on that. So I can make it in one day, correct? Uh, no, it'll take you. What's your bonus in it? Uh, six. It should take you about three or four days, depending on your checks. Alright. Oh, yeah, by the way, should I make another kind of check for that thing I told you about? Uh, did you message me on Discord? No, like before, about the, using the ring mind and the phantom steed. Oh, yes. Uh, go ahead and make our kind of check to try to start drawing that up. Hmm. 19. Alright, mark that down. Maybe I'll get down there. Yep, you mark it down somewhere that you have that available. And how many days did I tell you for that? Uh, let me check. I have a lot of different conversations with it. Right, you said it was going to be 30 days. Okay. Alright, so that's one day for that. Okay, thanks. Alright. Uh, Holden, you were going off to... Are you just going to find an inn, sleep? I'm being honest, I'm just gonna... Yeah, just find an inn and just All right. sleep. Alright, walk off three silver. Right find the same one. Fine, also walk off three silver. Okay. Alton, um... You were just going as well? No one now. Well, I'm going... Well, who... Where am I gonna stay for the night? Where are you gonna buy a room? I don't have money. You said you had 30 gold. No. That was for... Uh, fine. I don't have 30 gold for fucking... Then have fun need... sleeping on the streets. <clears throat> Bye! You need three silver, dude. Like, that's like not even close oh, to Oh, three gold. silver? Okay. I thought You're it was like five gold. Four area. It was five gold for the really expensive room, yes. Who's Where's taking the... my room, by the way? I'll take it. <laughs> no, uh, you're not allowed. <laughs> yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I think uh, Riker said he was taking it. No, oh, I'm getting my okay. own three silver room. Well, I gave fine, is allowed to, my room. fine is allowed to have it. There you go. Okay. Okay, fine. Go ahead and add back on that three silver. Uh, right. Three silver uh, isn't in the slums, right? Yeah, that's down no, in, the in the good part of town. Okay, because people in the slums don't like you, so I don't want to. It's not in the slums. It's in a good part of town. Then it's, I will pay the three silver. It's still in the swells, but it's not in the slums itself. Yeah. Okay. So, the last thing that we have to do with for tonight, Aussie. You're going over to Gilfulls. Yes, I'm going over to Gilfulls. Alright. 